Hello everyone, this is Data from JGX and here we are with another Mac review. Today's Mac is the iSpirit. Before we get started, again I'd like to remind you, if you haven't done that yet, to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So, about the iSpirit, I'm honestly pretty surprised that people don't use it. I don't see these Macs at all on the battlefield. The main reason I think it's because many of them are just bad and there are just two ways I think to make them work properly and people haven't found these ways yet. Let's start with the hitboxes. The hitboxes are pretty standard. CT, side torsos, the arms don't shield properly for the side torsos. The mech is pretty big. It doesn't have jump jets. Uh, people usually try to aim for the CT when they see this mech, and rightfully so. So the hitboxes are not that good, but not that bad. As for the agility, the agility is very high. 73XL, 74D cell is a lot for a 45 tonner. Similar mechs have way less. Example, Arctic Wolf, 4768. Shadow Cat, 5261. Um, Blackjack, again, it's 50, 52. The agility is very, very high. Hellspawn, 5964. Uh, Phoenix Ox 63, 69, and again the Ice Ferret, same tonnage, 45 tons, 73, 74. Um, turn rate, again very fast, torso turn rate 171, it's huge. 171, it's a lot of torso twist, uh, speed, even lights, uh, it's prana level, torso, no. It's prana level torso twist speed. Even many lights don't have such torso such torso turn rate. 171 is incredibly high. Uh, your angle, so how much you can turn left and right. Again, 135 degrees is a lot of torso twist speed. You can torso twist fast and track targets fast. It doesn't have jump jets though. It doesn't have jump jets. Um, how do we use it? Uh, if we go in the store and, you ch and we check them, many of them have laser in the CT. You don't take them. Some, um, usually you are attracted by those with the extra weapon in the CT. But this mech doesn't work this way because it doesn't have a lot of free tonnage being an Omnimac, it has um, locked engine, the engine is too high, uh, therefore it doesn't have a lot of free tonnage. So you want the quirk. People maybe haven't noticed that the Prime, maybe because it doesn't have any CT weapon, nor ECM, the Prime has 10 heat in the CT. So you add the prime left arm with another 5 heat. You add the D right arm with laser duration. The P right torso for an extra laser. The A left torso, whatever. And you end up with 5 medium pulses with 15 heat and 7.5 duration. You should strip something. Doesn't matter, it has a lot of structure. You can strip the legs a bit because anyways they will try to disarm you, cut off the arms or get the torso. It's very unlikely to get legged in this mech. As for the efficiency on the battle, for the skill tree, just refer to my skill tree video. As for how it plays, it's a skirmisher. You get in your optimal range, maximum 400 meters, and you, you pick a bull. It's fast, the agility is very noticeable.
Target acquired. The heat doesn't go up that much, but once it gets up, uh, it takes a while to go down because you don't have that many heat sinks. But again, the combo speed, fire, power, armor, because it has a lot of armor. In it. I think it's enough to get very strong results. I think this is the best I've heard. Another way to do it is maybe you could try an energy one, the the energy one in the CT. Let's go. We could grab another one. For example. I think they should be all the same. No, this one is ECM. I don't want one with ECM. Just grab. Let's grab the C. Yeah. You could try to, to go for six regular medium lasers. Helped by the duration quirk. Actually, the rainbow crow arm is even better, the left arm, because it gives additional laser duration. It's just that you can't have that many because it's just a hero mech. So on the left arm, the, yeah, it's better to have the rainbow crow left arm. Use the prime if you don't have a lot of heroes. It should be a bit harder, but you should be able to squeeze in some heat sinks. We're gonna try it straight away. I don't think this is gonna be any good. You could try it, but I don't know if the extra heat sinks will be enough. The medium pulse, I think it's, it's the best one. This one could do something, but I don't see how those extra four heat sinks are gonna be enough for all of these lasers. It's decent. This one is decent. Heat level critical. It's up quite fast. It has more range though. Uh, in, in a light versus light fight, you're screwed. It's actually not that bad. You could use this too. Heat level critical. An interesting one is the Rainbow Crow. Because the Rainbow Crow has some really fucked up quirks. It's a troll build. Because you need to shave a lot of armor. But uh, it's it's pretty cancer. Rainbow Crow has plus something like 200% ammo quirk. 
It's not in the set of A, so it doesn't matter. It's CCM, so they don't see you coming around. Axel, Diesel, whatever. The armor is stripped. A left arm, extra ammunition. Ballistic cooldown 20, velocity 25. Ballistic cooldown 20 again, so the total is 40 cooldown. Gem chance 40. So it's 40 gem chance, 40 cooldown, and 25 velocity. An ECM, a lot of ammo. And he plays like a NASCAR mech, a peekaboo NASCAR mech with ECM. You go behind the enemy lines, you find assaults that are repositioning, and you, and you go like this. When you jump, you just hide very quickly. And if you are behind them, you find some slow assaults that are trying to, to control position of the Canyon network and hibernal rift. You're gonna just find them. Mining collectibles, farm them mining. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for today as well. Again, if you haven't done that yet, please remember to leave a like, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you next time.